What is up, YouTube? Hellspawn here with the uh, long-awaited and kind of late fifth episode in my uh, birthday countdown. And uh, as you can see, we've got uh, the dark Sith apprentice here, Darth Maul. Um, <clears throat> this is actually the uh, Sideshow Collectibles uh, premium format Darth Maul. And wow. <laughs> I got this figure for a really good deal. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it. It's been a long time, but I know I got him for a good deal. And, um, wow, that's all I can say. I mean, this, uh, this is, this is an incredible figure. I mean, aside from the new, uh, Sideshow Collectibles legendary scale statue, I really, really, really do not see how there could be a better Darth Maul out there anywhere. I mean, the the sculpt on this thing is awesome. The paint on it is amazing. The 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 cut and sew on this thing is incredible. Uh, I mean, it, it's just it's it's a freaking masterpiece, if you ask me. I mean, all the different layers in here of all these different robes that are just layered over on top of them, and I mean, you know, the pants, how how the cut and sew falls on the shoulders. I mean, you can see on the chest here how everything comes down. You know, here and then goes underneath this leather belt. Uh, I mean, it's just it, it looks like somebody pulled him right off the screen. Uh, he's he looks that good. Um, I, I mean, I I can't I can't really say anything else high more highly of this thing. I mean, the Boba Fett is just as good as uh, as as Maul. Uh, you know, I mean, all their PFs look good, but I mean, I'd have to say like the the General Grievous, the Boba Fett, the the Darth Maul, um, those are going to be your best of the best. I think Sideshow needs to redo Vader um, as well. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, the, the, it's almost like I'm at a loss for words. I really don't know what to say because this thing is just so cool. I mean, it kind of speaks for itself. Um, I, I give it a 10 out of 10. In fact, if I could give it more than a 10 out of 10, I would give it more than a 10 out of 10. The, like I said, the sculpt, 10 out of 10. The, the face looks amazing. You know, the, the sculpt all the way down to the boots is just absolutely incredible. Uh, paint, uh, you know, I mean, uh, albeit there's not a lot of it, they did fantastic with the eyes and the teeth. 10 out of 10 on that. Um, the cut and sew, incredible. I mean, the way that the, just all of this hangs and looks so natural and so, so perfect without even having to do anything to it, 10 out of 10. Uh, the light-up feature on the lightsaber, which doesn't look very impressive here, um, but if you turn out the lights, uh, I'm not going to turn out the lights actually, but I will turn off some of them, the easy to reach ones, to give you an idea. So it, it definitely is a lot more impressive when you don't have the lights on. Sorry. I apologize. Uh, one of my friends, Mario, if you guys haven't watched the other video, sent me, uh, sent me a birthday package that had some German chocolate in there and... Uh, <laughs> Oh, it was good. I ate about half the candy bar already, and uh, I got a nice, uh, a nice big cup of uh, milk right here that I'm washing it down with. So thank you, sir. You told me to tell you how it was. It was amazing, and I'll enjoy all of it. I promise. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, it, I mean, the base is incredible. Everything is perfect. This thing is just absolutely fantastic. I have nothing bad to say about it. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite pieces in my collection, and uh, I'll give you a couple. Uh, Give you a couple close-ups just to show you why. If I can go ahead and detach you guys here, get you up close, and then look look at this cut and sew. Like I said, the way that it falls so naturally and looks so perfect without uh, anything having to be done to it is amazing. If you get real close up in here and look at these boots, look at the detail on those things. All up on the shin guards. Flip it around here. Look at that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I mean, just absolutely amazing. Up here on the gloves. The front of the tunic. How it comes down. Look at the belt. I just, I absolutely love this figure. And the face, look at that thing. Looks like he's going to bitch slap some Jedis. <laughs> Just super cool, man. So stinking cool. Yeah, 
And then last but not least, the lightsaber, which is just a miniaturized version of what he carries in the movie. So, definitely a cool figure. Like I said, I, I don't know how many times I can say it, and uh, I'll probably continue to say it if uh, I don't stop myself now. But, uh, you know, like I said, amazing it's a shame that it comes in at number five. Unfortunately, it just doesn't rank up there uh, in the top three. Uh, but definitely, it's going to be our starter for the top five on this countdown. And uh, I absolutely adore this thing, and I'll hang on to it forever. But this is the Sideshow Collectibles Darth Maul premium format figure. And this is uh, birthday countdown review number five on March 5th. Uh, which is rolling into March 6th, so uh, stay tuned and I'll have the 6th uh, installment filmed and uh, ready to go for you right after this.